Did you know... Did you know? Did you know is a series about good but old video games that uh, still hold merit today, at least according to my opinion, but they are not too well known for some reason. As you may have noticed uh, when you are uh, watching videos on my channel, my main motivation for several let's plays that I've done on my channel is not to show you um, what's the newest, uh, hottest shit, but also to bring attention to games that I really like and that uh, seem to have evaded uh, more attention for some reason. And I think that it's very sad because there's some really good there's some really good games out there that not too many people know about, and I don't really like that. And the main reason for this series is probably that the list of games that I would like to cover with a Let's Play has actually increased over the last year. I mean, part of the reason may be that I did some games that were not even that old and that took a lot of amount of time to do. So maybe it's uh, partly my fault, but I think with an additional series about bringing these, these games to the general attention, hopefully, I can, well, rest easier somewhat. So this way, basically, I can try to I can try to, to cover more things. This uh, does not mean, however, that I would not do a let's play of, of a game that is presented in this series. I might still do that at, at some point. And vice versa, it's also the case that I might also revisit some games that I already did let's plays on. So it's not like, okay, I'm doing, I'm doing a video on this game, so I'm not gonna do a let's play of that. No. There may be more or, or less reason because of that, but I think it's little. It's not that easy to look at it. All right, let's establish some rules for this uh, for this series. The game that I'm that, that I that, that I will that I will be covering is supposed to be old. With old, I mean that it's at, at the very least five, but probably it's even more than more than ten years old. I would give preference to games that are available on GOG.com because this way they they can be they can be picked up by you easily and you don't have to worry about compatibility problems and stuff too much. It's not a hard rule, but I would give preference to games that are actually available there. Each of those videos in the series will give you a glimpse of the actual gameplay while I, while I talk about things and this is gonna be about 10 to 20 minutes in length. There will be one gameplay segment that is basically coherent, but uh, it's gonna be a little bit longer than most Hall of Fame videos I know at least. Also, if you think of something that uh, that deserves to be covered and that I don't know, please discuss it in the comments below. This video and the other videos of course too. Language-wise, I would prefer to do this series in English, partly because GOG does not offer localized versions for all games, but does always offer English versions. So I think it's easier to just do everything in English. But I will offer you subtitles in German that I made myself, not, not automated subtitles or automatically translated. I will do those myself. And um, if there's enough interest, I may be uh, considering doing um, an additional video with the text that I say in German. So just let me know what you think about that. I plan to do about one of these videos per month. I can't really promise too much on that. I think it's about one t one per month or maybe even two per month, but probably not much more. I'll basically do games that I'm that I'm playing by myself again and do a short video about it, basically, to let you know why I enjoyed playing this game, basically, as the main idea about this. So you shouldn't really e expect this to to be like a weekly series or something. It's probably not going to happen in the near future. So thanks for uh, watching this video, and I hope you enjoy the series. Bye. Now you know.